two time capsules from Bethesda's history, one from 1981, one from 1936. And there's some interesting history around both of them. They both come from chapels that were over at the Watertown main campus. Um, so we know the people who put the contents in the 1981 box. They were people who lived at the campus, and they were actually the oldest people who lived on campus at Bethesda. And uh, I have their names, we won't go through all of them, but some of them lived to 101 years old. And they had great and wonderful lives, thanks to all of the incredible people who worked at Bethesda all those years. Now the 1936 box, that's the smaller one. Um, that's from an early period in Bethesda's history. Bethesda was 30 some years old at that point. It had barely survived the Great Depression. And Bethesda did not have a chapel at that time, even though it was a religious organization. So they constructed the first chapel at Bethesda as a celebration of the fact that Bethesda financially survived and made it. Before, they used to have church services in the basement of one of the old buildings. Mm -hmm. yeah, not that I don't trust them, but... <laughs> <laughs> trust but verify, Richard. <laughs> Ashley is here to help us as well. This is Ashley's officer. Ashley works here at Bethesda. And uh, Ashley, you've been here longer than I've been here. I've been here nine years this year. In fact, you were the first person that I saw when I showed up four years ago. Remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> I said, I've got, a, I've got a job interview here. Um, I think I know where to go. I'll walk up the stairs and go up there. She was sitting right at the reception desk and she said, Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Just take a seat right there. So, <laughs> so um, I want to say thanks, everybody, for being here today. Jeff, thanks for the history. It's just outstanding. It's truly God's blessings that have led us to this point to see what's in these wonderful boxes. Now, if you've looked at these, they're kind of patinaed, but they're made out of copper. Copper. And they are soldered shut. So I am going to, uh, with the help of Mr. Dremel, um, open the 1981 box first, and then Ashley and Jeff and I are going to go through the Jeff's going to narrate what he sees. So hopefully we'll see. So watch out, Norm. <laughs> That's going well when you do the first cut. December 6, 1980. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. Frank. It says on the back, this is a picture of Mr. Frank Shujan, the father of the Shujan children who gave the money to build the chapel in 1981. Loving memory of their parents. It must look like more news articles. A lot of news and some of the pamphlets and information that Bethesda used to share its mission back then. Yes. Maybe like... 
the book of Concord. What's Dave Riebel's photo doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> That looks older than 1981. It looks like a very old Bible, maybe one of the original ones. <laughs> it's very, very heavy. Interesting. Yeah. To him, it was in Czech. Uh, it's in German. So. <laughs> 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 Do you know German? Yes. This is the famous Bible from the Schutzes. It's from the Schutzes. 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 Oh, that keeps coming up actually. And this is another Bible from. And the note says German hymnal was Meta's mother's book. So, if anyone from back in the day remembers Meta, this is from this is her mother's German hymnal. And then this looks like maybe a children's Bible. Bible. So this is the Constitution as in bylaws. As Bethesda's lawyer, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs>
something to you, you know, a time that you can see that. But Remember when oh. we showed the movie and we were uh, saying that you get a prize if you find Janine in the movie? Oh, yeah, I found that. That's what she I found it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, a bunch of you did. All right, so Janine and Ruth, guys, Janine and Ruth are here. And Janine, everybody. Janine has worked hard to prepare this, and we want to have fun with it. Okay, well, thank you for participating in the Ice Cream Sunday Challenge. And I do want to shake your hand ahead of time. Dale, Gavin, Isaiah. Or Isaiah. Where did you eat Gavin? I just have one know. question. If we eat this, will it make us throw up? No. Okay. I don't, but we have this just in case. Okay. All right. Well, and, uh, well, really yeah, yeah. 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 Job, yeah. Okay. So the winner gets to have a pizza of their choice. We have oh, quite so a few different varieties, so they will get to win. Yeah, and you guys get to observe. Now, do you guys all like? Them? Do you guys all go with that? Pizza? That sounds good. And then I have some fruit here. Oh, what is that? It's a mixed cocktail. Oh, I love so that. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> that looks good. That's delicious, guys. I'm so hungry. Oh, that looks so yummy. Look at it. You want to trade spots? No, no. You just wait. Okay. I will divide. I'll give it a hand. One bite. Spot. Can't be Kylie be in there. I will divide. I got that. I put the other hand. Can I be in there? Uh, uh, really hot stuff. We might as well spice it up. Is I that okay? No. Yes. Do it. Do it. What is it with? Okay. You could do that. Do you have something to help them if they? Water out. Great. We can. We can help you with some water. Wait, what kind of pepper is that? Right right I, I don't know. Is it cayenne pepper? Cayenne like downgraded chocolate. Why do they get to do this? Yeah, now? They get to Vanilla. When I change the oil on my car. What? Is oh that oil? I don't have any oil. I don't know. You guys tell us. That's what that that no, it's good Delete for it. your car. <laughs> Put that on. The, that's going to kill us. I'll eat well, it. You have to eat oil, really don't you? You have olive oil and safflower oil. Oh, is that oil? Oil. 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 oil? Wait, can I smell it? It's blinker fluid. Is, is it okay? Can I put it in? It's blinker fluid. No. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I'm I'm no. I really no. would love Can't to give it to you. Can't put it on that. Oh, that was not in the water. No. Sick now. If you just can't do it, don't worry. Gabby, does it taste bad or is it just cold? Cool. Doesn't it taste good? Pizza. Gabby, think no, about it's oh. not. Gabby is not Gabby. Gabby. It's, it's tomato Isaiah, what sauce. taste are you? What disgusting. taste do you taste? No, Gabby, you're really far. You're really far really ahead. Really really yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, you're you're so far again. No, I'm never doing this again. They're all good ingredients. Yeah, they are. Yeah, just think about that. They're out of pizza. I'd like a lot of them. It's chili. Yeah, good. Just think about the pizza you're gonna have after it. Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream chili pizza? Really? I'd like a lot of those ingredients in pizza and chili. Oh, yeah, yeah. Daddy, yeah, come on, you want that pizza? They are come on, so Daddy. delicious. Come on. Oh my god, Gabby. Yeah, can we do another one of these? You are really We have another one of these. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that pizza. Gabby, <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna take a bite. 
Yes, I'm taking like six. Yeah, okay. Gabby has been. Come on, Gabby. Yeah, Gabby. Oh, Gabby's Gabby's so close. Close. oh my god. Oh my god. Gabby, how do you do this? Come on, Gabby. Just, just forget about this. Come on, now let's just put in my berries and ice cream. I'm cold. Look at him. I swear. Come on, Gabby. Look at my brother. Come on, keep on doing it. Come on, Gabby. 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 Come that's all right. Here, you can sit by me. Would you like to have some water? Your one water is yours. Do you want to sit here? Pizza. Hey, come on. Oh, I'm so cold. You'll get warm pizza after. I don't want pizza. I'm going to melt the ice cream. Dale's catching up with me. Come on, Gabby. Gabby! You got it, Gabby! Wow. Both of you are good. I have no clue how my father just forget about this. I wouldn't have done it either. I, wanna, I, I, can't, I just can't do it because I I, I, I can't do I'm tomatoes. Okay I'm okay with that. I don't do 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 tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. Uh, hey! Oh Janine has to check it. Janine, is it all gone pretty much? Dale, stop it! No! Dale, Dale wants to finish. Oh! I'm done. <laughs> Give them all a hand again. Explain what each of the ingredients meant. When we God created us, we were white and we were holy. We were white and pure in His sight. And when we uh, um, He created us, He He gave us the earth and the fruit that He gives us. In he gives us. They represented sex before marriage. It pizza is good. And marriage is good, sex and marriage is good, but outside of marriage, or like on the ice cream, is not so good. And PT can... Didn't go, they don't go together because they're not God's plan. So it's a blessing from God uh, into the sea. But guys, but it belongs within marriage. And when it's outside of marriage, then it's a sin against God. So that was what her point was, that they just didn't go together. No. And, uh, no. And, and in the book of Job, he had asked permission to... Send these afflictions on Job. What were some of those things that happened? Anybody know? Boils. Boils, sickness. All over his body. Sickness, but he disease. Could not kill Job. Right, right. So sometimes God will allow some bad things in our life, but it also will bring us back to God, and that's why we had the water, because um, Jesus is the living Word. Um, um, wa the water of life. Um, okay. Um, so everything represents something. The water is uh, talked about in Scripture as far as Jesus being, like you said, the living water that refreshes our souls, where we don't. Where I did we divert don't. your attention to something else, and and you know, and then of course the the other kind of oil. So I was being the devil, and you know, trying to make it look really good because sometimes he does that. Like yeah. So it shows God's power, and God uh, is all powerful, and we thank God that He has His leash, if you will, on Satan. Um, but don't blame God uh, for, um, you know, sometimes we might think, oh, we're getting this trouble into our lives, it's all God's fault. I know trouble comes into our life because of sin in the world and sin in general and our sin too and God is the one to credit with the good he brings out of it, right? Yep. Okay. And the strawberry syrup, that's Jesus' blood. He died on the cross to save us from all the, the sins. And this, when we, if you remember, the, the whipping cream covered up everything. That's what Jesus does. He covers up this, our sins so that God does not see them anymore. Wow, we all want this. Can I have that? <laughs> yep, you can have, you know. Not yet, um, just wait. And um, so, you know, God, when God created us, created us, He created us pure and holy. He gave us choices and free will. Free will. And we need to remember that, that God, if He puts rules down, it's for a good reason. And, you know, not until you break a sin, you know, or have sex before marriage, you won't really understand, won't really. You know, I can't even imagine what it must have been like for Adam and Eve when their one son, Cain, 
Killed murdered Abel. their other son, Abel. I can't even imagine what that must have been for a parent to know that one of their children killed their other child. Jealousy. That, that must have been so painful for the parents to go through it. So they had to face that too. This is something, well, Tyler, why don't you tell us now what, what this is that claimed lives. Go ahead. It was uh, the Edmund Fitzgerald. Go, go ahead. Can Keep going, Tyler. It's okay. It was actually, the ship was actually, believe it or not, built right here in the state of Wisconsin, right in the Milwaukee area, and they were leaving by Superior. They were going through Superior, they were trying to make it to Cleveland, and then they don't, at first they didn't know, if they would have left 50 minutes earlier, or 50 more miles behind them, they would have made Whitefish Bay, Michigan. But when it's and I end up and then recently I found out the main there was a main hatchway that caved in came in so it took on water and that's how it collapsed. They want to raise it, but we ha but they have to ask the Canadians because it was in it's in Canadian water. He was supposed to so, like another dad doing. Okay, all right. Uh, yes. Uh, I was going to like tell Eric like before they put me under to get my appendix out. I always talk to God saying. Like, I hope you're there for me when I go under. Oh, that's right. And, uh, and what Brandon just said, you want to remember, and that he, wa he was with him. And that's God's promise, that he is with you. And you can always count on God's promises. We're going to pray? Yep. Even with, um, I will admit it, when my dad mm -hmm. had his gallbladder taken out, I got really nervous. Because mm -hmm. I was hoping they would get it out just fine. And, and was, the Lord kept him safe and healed time. him. It was the hour and a half. Oh, yeah, that was quick. All right, let's pray, everybody. Okay, we pray. Oh, respect back to work, uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving. Okay, we respect uh, this moment, so we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the victory over death that you accomplished through your Son Jesus as He finished the battle against sin, death, and the devil, and he cried that out on the cross, and he conquered death, and that was clear as he rose to life. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to remember those things and those uh, wondrous events, because they mean that death has been conquered, and when we approach ours, uh, we don't have to be afraid. You'll take us home to heaven. Help us to remember that. Also help those that we've talked about who have faced uh, the death of a loved one uh, or a close relative to remember that too so that they are comforted and strengthened. Give them strength to bear up under their difficulty. Help them, dear Lord, to grieve, not like those without any hope, but rather uh, as your dear children, knowing that you are with them. Be with those that also are going through surgery. Help them. Uh, remind them that you're with them and that you'll work it out all for their good. Uh, we pray for also the other ones who were mentioned who have suffered. Uh, we pray that you be with them and strengthen them and work everything for their good. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Because I have a lot of I'm a I'm a I'm not glad about all that, or how it, <laughs> so, yeah, well, we but yeah, for you, but I offer it, so, yeah, so, if you guys have any questions or how much that I will, I will, I'm uh, 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 u